Welcome to the channel, Pat of Card Scale Dreams. Uh, first off, I just want to thank everybody for uh, the support on the channel. Really appreciate it. Um, appreciate the likes, the views, um, thumbs ups, all that good stuff. Uh, so today, um, just going to be adding valve stems to these rims. Um, so for those of you who have never um, added valve stems, uh, pretty easy process, of course, as long as you have the right uh, materials. Um, so for this, obviously, you're going to have your rims. Uh, I'm just using these steelies that I'm putting on the Chevelle. Um, this pretty much works for any type of rim. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, so obviously, the first thing you're going to need is your mini the mini drills, micro drills, whatever you want to call them. Um, so this is the packaging. This came off Amazon. And this is the point seven. So that's what we'll be using to drill the holes. Um, obviously you'll need your wire cutters and some wire so this wire i found at the i think it was the dollar store um it's perfect size for this so i'll just show you the difference so here's 30 gauge wrapping wire and then there's this wire that i found at the dollar store slightly bigger so i'm not exactly sure what gauge it is on the packaging it just said uh, i can't even remember what it said to be honest um but yeah there was this one and a red a red one a red wire and uh anyways i picked it up a little bit thicker than 30 gauge so that's that that's the wire we'll be using. So first thing, of course, figure out where you want to drill your hole. So I'm drilling this hole into the side here. And I'll just start the, start the hole with the needle. So my, uh, <clears throat> My drill bit doesn't move around when I start drilling. So it doesn't really matter what, how you want your, how you want your valve stem to look. I mean, if you wanted to, you could drill it in straight doesn't really matter I, I just like to do it like this um, just how I prefer to do it um, so I've got all these other ones already drilled so we'll just take a quick peek how this fit if this fits Try and get all that access plastic out of the way here. Clean that off. Okay, so that fits right through, no problem. Um, so that you can see the little silver on the tip. So you can add a little black paint, acrylic paint or whatever you're, you like to use just to um, clean that up. So I'm gonna want that, about that, that length. 
Okay, so I'm just going to hold that in. And just cut it right there. Okay. So I don't want this end sticking out. I may have to trim that a little more. But that's not too bad. I can clean it up later. Um, so just when you cut this tip off, make sure to go back and level it so you have a good clean cut. So f when you add it to the next rim, it's it's square and it's level and flat. Okay, so square this off. This is like my second set of wire cutters too. They, um, you use a lot of wires um, and you want like a good solid cut so and you don't want to be cutting too thick of wire with your good cutters. Like I have an old old set of cutters that I use for the thicker stuff because I don't want to ruin these new ones right away. So just leveling that off again. Like I said, I've already drilled these holes. Get the desired length. Trim. So you don't want that sticking out of there because once you go to put it in the tire, it's gonna, it's gonna, <clears throat> it's not gonna go want to go on the tire, especially if it's already tight. Um, if you have a loose tire, then it's not a big deal, but it will mess up your, uh, it'll make your tire, your rim sit to the side off a little bit. So, so that one looks like it's a little too long. I'll go in and trim that one. Oop, that's the wrong one. Okay, those are the fronts. I still have to detail these up. So the angle on this one is quite a bit different. But that's easily manageable, right? I can I can uh, I can move that around wherever I want it and then add the paint at the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint these up. I'm gonna paint the lug nuts and paint the tips and then I'll be right back. So I'll just show how I glue these real quick. So I got my CA. Um, I push the valve stem, push the valve stem out, so just barely a little bit showing, add my glue here, and then push it in right where I want it. So you can see that matches up. Okay, let that dry, and then I can just trim that little piece off. So I'll just let those dry real quick. I'll trim them, and then like I said, I'll, I'll paint the, uh, 
lug nuts. I'll do a little wash. And that'll be that. Okay, so I got all the lugs picked out with this ammo oil brusher. I didn't use this. Like, this comes with the brush. I like this paint, but this brush is just too messy. Um, so I just used a little fine brush. And, like I said, that's steel, so that, that looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and just give this a wash. So I'll wash around the lugs. It's not dry yet. Try not to touch it. Oh, messing up. Gotta stop. It's not uh, dry. Can't do around those yet. So this is just an acrylic wash. Um, craft paint. So it's kind of like I like I like to get all the nooks and crannies with this stuff. I just like the way it looks. It creates a shadow effect. which I really like and I pretty much do to do to every all my parts well, I'm hoping you guys can see that. sometimes I forget I'm doing this on camera I do talk, to, not out loud, obviously. Don't talk to myself. I'm, I think I'm going to paint the inside of this black. So I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> Here's the front. So if you're wondering what that is in the middle there, that's the cap that goes on the spindle. So I made that out of embossing foil. going a little thick here so we'll just clean that brush off a bit so if you've gone too thick you can pick it back up with your brush if you get all the paint off it you can just pick it back up it'll just flow back onto that brush So one of my favorite things is black washing everything. So I'll have to wait for these lug nuts to dry up a little bit before I hit those again. You can see it's getting on the brush. I just messed that up. But I'll be able to clean that up later. Not too worried about it. So I did get a bit of a blob, glob there. Like I said, I clean off the paint off my brush. If I get a big glob, you just go back. Clean it up with your empty brush. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll just finish these up real quick. Okay, so there we are. The rims are painted, or sorry, detailed. Um, <clears throat> got a good wash on there. Valve stems obviously added, glued in. Uh, so that's going to look pretty good. They look pretty good. So that's just a little teaser of what they're going to look like. Pretty happy with how they turned out. So yeah, if, uh, if you haven't seen how I put the... These are Shabu Dry Transfers. Um, unfortunately, you can't get these anymore, but um, I <clears throat> had some left over from a long while back. And if you want to see how I put those on, I have a video as well on that. But I want to thank everybody for checking out the video and watching and hope everyone's doing well. It's Monday today, uh, my Sunday. Um, so, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Pot out, model on. Thank you. Thank you very much.